hi welcome back to rebecca's travels so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle i hope everybody's uh, doing as well as possible uh, today um the weather's um been cl uh, cloudy it's still quite cold but um it's not been raining which is a good thing so it has stayed dry um, in northwest Leicestershire. If you're new here to my channel, please subscribe and click the subscribe button, which is the red and white um, button uh, down below. And I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel. And thank you, and uh, I would be extremely grateful for that. Um, so today I'm going to be doing 10 exciting budget travel facts, September 2022, part three. And this is according to uh, whereglobaltravellers.com. Um, I agree also with, um, and I have said in the past about um, most of these uh, budget travel facts, but if you haven't seen all the videos, um, in the, the budget travel um, series, then um, then uh, this is a, another one, um, and uh, again, a lot of uh, budget travel like websites um, basically say, it say the same thing: um, how to, uh, how you can save money when traveling. So um, it is um, number one, kicking off with choose your destination carefully. Some places in the UK, Europe and worldwide are naturally more expensive and cheaper uh, than where you call home, just say, unless you live in an expensive ha area anyway. And um, if you're um, just starting um, out at my traveling maybe um it's um better to go somewhere that is a uh, cheap and easy to get to somewhere where the currency um will get you good value um for your own currency because of the exchange rate or somewhere that is uh, basically uh, lower um, cost than what you call home. Um, again, is a good place to start. Um, I've recommended uh, these five uh, countries, and it also says on the website as well, um, as uh, being um. Basically, the least expensive. Um, kicking off number one is Indonesia daily budget. Um, is a sixteen pounds or eighteen euros or at twenty US dollars a day. And number two is Tunisia at an incredible just twelve pound fifty. A day or um, fourteen fifty euros or fifteen fifty US dollars a day. That's inc uh, incredibly cheap, and basically the cheapest destination on here. Um, number three, Romania, um, eighteen pounds a day or 21 euros or 23 US dollars. Um, Poland at 20 pounds a day, at 22 US, uh, 22 euros or 24 US dollars. And number five, um, Nicaragua, which is um, in um, Central America, which is at 20, which sorry, which is fifteen pounds a day, um, euro sixteen um fifty, and um, 
US dollars, £18.50. Um, so these five that I've chosen off the we website, in my opinion, are um, extremely good value. And um, basically the cheapest places um, like worldwide or Europe um, or etc. And uh, number two, fact, um, avoid tourist traps at all costs. Um, they're located in large cities um, and at tourist hotspots. Um, it is often less ex expensive strain off the beaten track, less well-known destinations if you can. And um, even within your destination, avoid avoid it uh, like restaurants and um, say on the main like square or strip and try something uh, down a sidewalk or pavement um, which is a lot less expensive than going in the main square strip uh, beachfront etc and uh, number three, um, get always get travel insurance. Perhaps the most important tip for traveling on a budget. Sure, it initially is an expense, uh, but again, you'll thank yourself if your trip gets cancelled or if you take um, ill abroad or again. Uh, you have trouble with your luggage etc then uh, travel insurance co uh, covers all that um number four travel off season sure uh, you might not be able to guarantee the weather um say especially um in the uk and say other countries um in europe um but um your chosen destination will be a lot less busy and a lot less uh, crowded and uh, you will um save some money uh, for or quite a bit of money traveling off season to in season number 5 book in advance uh, that is um transport if you're not driving your own car accommodation and activities well in advance because again it's a lot cheaper number six and um, try less touristy destinations uh, you can uh, be more spontaneous as well with accommodation uh, that is not advertised online and uh, you can save money when traveling by booking directly with the owner and um, in small towns and homestays etc number seven use sky scanner uh, to find the cheapest flight deals at uh, number eight and um, if you can fly midweek between tuesday and thursday you can, again you can save uh, quite a bit of money number nine a uh, tip is to pack well and um, everything you're uh, that you that you need basically if you uh, forget anything it'll cost you more um because obviously you will have to purchase it the item when you're on holiday and uh, number t uh, 10 um diy do uh, excursions or do a DIY holiday yourself, book it yourself. You can often save a lot of money by planning in advance um, your own, um, again, f f say from the internet or um, if you're traveling um, by a coach company, you can also save money there as well because... Um, a lot of the meals are included and on a coach 
tour uh, what I go on and uh, excursions as well are included so again you can save money that way by going on a coach tour um, so but uh, working your holiday out for yourself you can save a lot of money by doing that and um, so I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you on Sunday um, for uh, travel news, well basically travel news at my travel channels, um, it basically at next week's schedule and um, basically my improvements, updates and more so please keep watching and uh, don't forget you can watch a variety of other uh, videos on my playlist on my travel and my lifestyle channel and thank you for doing that if you do and thank you have a good weekend and bye for now thank you bye